Dear friends, uh, good morning. Today we are going to discuss uh, how to plan for going abroad for studies. If you have done BS or Masters, you are willing to go to abroad for studies. What options should be there? What problems can be there? And how to tackle with those problems? First of all, it is necessary that you must have to have completed your BS or MSc or MA whatsoever the degree required. Then you must have to apply for a scholarship in the meantime. Now for scholarship, some, some countries are there which require IELTS. For that case, that is, you know, proficiency in English. So you have to prepare for that also, but there are some other countries which do not need any sort of IELTS for that. So you have to take that, keep it in mind also. So say for example, and moreover, where from generation, uh, you know, how to generate economy also, you see your background, parents are not in position to support you. You do not have uh, other assets. Now it is for you, please uh, do that on a scholarship. No any other chance is there. So for that scholarship, you have China, that's also favorable in that GRE or ILH, that, that type of things are not required. So other countries may require that. Moreover, so means for if you want to go in such country in which there is requirement of islands, you must have to make your English stable. Moreover, your subject must be there. And for ample to be converted into PhD subject, GRE is also required in certain countries. You, so you must have to go for that as well. It all depends upon how much passionate you are in your subject. If you are very much passionate in your subject, mm -hmm. your chances of success are very much. And you keep on clicking to the professors. Sometimes professors themselves they also give you scholarship because they have opportunity of scholarship with them. So hope you will understand that. Believe me, believe me, if you are willing to go, you will have to. Other countries, developing countries, Australia, uh, in addition to Australia, Malaysia, Turkey, they are there. In addition to that, the European countries are there. They are open. So it all depends upon your will, planning, your aim should be clear and classified. Thank you. I have a question, sir. Yes, is China, uh, is China is the best option to get MS in mathematics? No, it is good. But I would say you must have to keep Malaysia and China. These options are also there. Okay? So in China, it's easy. Access is easy, no much formality that's available. Now, the Chinese scholarship is available mm -hmm. on the website, you can see. So, but if you want to settle there, for settlement, there is no option in China. Some people, mm. they want to settle there also. If you want to settle, say for example, there, for settling there is Australia may be there, uh, European countries like uh, UK is there. Mm. So it's also there. Uh, we are not for their settle. We are only the purpose to study our MS completed two or so two or half years. Then. I, I would say China, Malaysia, Turkey, these are the best ones. So, Malaysia, you can opt for Malaysia. It's not is bad. there any country uh, there is no required of IELTS or TOEFL? In such countries, I, I'd say China is clear. In China, there is no such requirement. And in, I think New Zealand also, they, they require one certificate from university. They say that if university is giving you a certificate that you have got an education and an English medium, so they exempt that also. New Zealand can be there, Australia is there, you can easily go there. Some okay. other Scandinavian countries may be there, they may be exempted. So you keep on searching mm. on Google on that. Okay. So any other question please? Oh, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank Have you very much. Sir, so, very precious time sir. Thank you sir.